so this guy's leaving as we speak I wonder what he delivered curiosity Give me two shots, we don't need a radio, bring a jukebox For my outlaws, bring me three shots We can raise hell before the speed stops For my outlaws, give me two shots We don't need a radio, bring a jukebox For my outlaws, bring me three shots Oh, hey, look what he delivered. Awesome. So I've been waiting on this for about a week. Kind of kept it quiet. Didn't want to let anybody know. I think uh, one guy knows Angel Monita. He's a uh, another YouTuber that I fish with all the time. He knew about it because he's got the same kayak in a different color. And uh, I talked to him and checked his out and all that kind of good stuff. But uh, what we have here is a Vibe. Sea Ghost 110, it's an 11 footer. Um, we'll talk more about it, man. I want to get out of this damn South Texas sun and into the garage. So uh, we'll talk more about it once I get that done. So I've got it in the garage. Uh, I'm sure you saw that because I think I drug it in on camera and uh, pulled it all apart. Got all the wrapping and stuff off of it. Walked through it and inspected it. I got the seat put in. Everything installed the way the seat's supposed to go. And uh, working on the rudder now. So let me get the rudder stuff finished and I will holler back at y'all when I'm done and give you a little walkthrough of the kayak. Give you a little brief description on how to set the rudder up and how the rudder works um, all that kind of good stuff all right folks so uh, a bit ago in uh, previous part of this video which was actually shot like two days ago um, I said that I was gonna go ahead and try to get the rudder system all fixed up on it and uh, do a little how-to on how to set the rudder up but shortly after i finished shooting that we had uh some storms roll in and i had to get the kayak inside get the new kayak inside get the old kayak put up get the roadster back inside get the truck back in the driveway get the jeep back in the driveway and all kinds of other stuff so i got cut short on time and then of course i had stuff come up here and there so i'm back at it um what i'm basically going to do is i'm just going to do a quick walk around on the kayak talking about some of the features and uh, that'll be pretty much it for this video and I will do an in-depth how-to on setting uh, the rudder system up um, along with I don't know maybe some more rigging on this thing because it definitely is going to get a uh, fish finder put on it and uh, a few more other things here and there so let me go ahead and wander around it and talk to you uh, we'll start up here in the front uh, this is again it's a sea ghost uh, it's a vibe sea ghost 110 got a little bungee right here for you to take well, let's back up a little bit. We got the cool little bungee keep right here to hold your paddle. So that makes it kind of nice. And then you got the bungee up here in the front that you can stick your paddle in it when you're on the water. And it allows you to, you know, just have a place to stick your paddle while you're wrestling a fish or whatever the case may be. Um, you know, the next thing we're gonna talk about is 
we got this nice little door here um, it's supposed to be watertight but I don't believe it is um, I've seen a lot of stuff online where guys are talking about that it isn't completely watertight uh, it's got a little dry bag in here uh, there you go you pull it over like that and then you can get into access into the bottom hole part of the hole and uh, just have basically has a little wire frame around it and it latches back up in there uh, came with a badass piece of plastic here that uh, yeah, I guess if you punch a hole in the kayak or whatever you've got something to uh, to go ahead and uh, patch it up with with plastic weld locks I mean, I mean it's not a key lock or anything like that to keep people out of it but it just locks up so you don't accidentally maybe dump and um, lose your stuff this hole right here goes down into the bottom through the bottom of the kayak and if you flip the kayak over, there's actually a uh, removable screen for putting your fish finder sending unit on. You got a rail here and a rail here in the top of your console for mounting accessories. Um, I would say I'm probably going to put my finder up here. You've got another little watertight bag or water bag right here to put stuff in. Um, it's not very big. Uh, I did manage to get my cell phone in this back one back here. So, you know, that might be kind of a, a convenient for me. Um, I am a smoker, so that's a good place to put smokes and lighter and stuff like that. Cup holder, another rail, another little watertight bag. Um, this little section right here has got a magnet in it, so you can throw your fish baits up on there and they stay there. Drop this down and you got opening to the bottom there. Up underneath, not all the way down to the bottom of the kayak, but just an opening to store stuff. Um, myself I kind of see it kind of functionable I probably might have a little pistol in there at one point in time when I go on certain certain places on water uh, this one opens up backwards it's all the same opening so um, the last notch down here kind of like so there we go of course you got your pedal pads with your rudder controls um, got two position seat I've got mine in the upper position at this very point right now um, six foot four so that was one of the benefits of buying this kayak was a raised seat um, I'm pretty sure I've seen online that somebody offers a uh, spacer to go underneath it and raise the seat some more I might look into that um, again that was another big benefit for me with this kayak because my other one I sat too flat my knees hurt in it all the time you got a rail on both sides for mounting equipment uh, a pair of pad eyes for mounting leashes or uh, like a mold kayak I mounted uh, tools on it uh, another bungee on this side for throwing a paddle or a, uh, a uh, my mind went blank for a, a stakeout pole seat folds down got another watertight opening another sealed opening back here that I can't function for some reason it must be pretty damn watertight it's, I couldn't get it open Another watertight bag right there. Um, got a piece of paper in there. I guess I need to look and see what it is. Of course, you got your rod holders back here in the back. Um, place to put your crate or your ice chest or whatever. Scuppers are all made into the boat. Um, got another bungee here. I'm presuming that you could put your... Well, I'm not sure what you would put under that. Oh, it would go like that over the top of your rotor. I mean, rudder. That way you can keep your your rudder pinned in place or drop it down you got your rudder wires your rudder cord um, this is what I still need to set up I need to set up my rudder cords exactly right get my pedal positions right and then I need to set up my, uh, my pull bar for dropping my rudder down um, right here next to the seat I thought this was a really cool option because I carry a lot of equipment and you know my crate pretty much is runneth over but uh, you got this cool little spot right here that you can put Plano boxes. I'm not sure what the number is, but I got to go pick up a couple of Plano boxes. And I'm thinking that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I, I, I hope to have it completely rigged up in the next day or so. And sometime this next week, be able to get out on the water somewhere. Um, I'm hoping to be able to step my game up a bit and start hitting up some different places other than the places I normally hit. Um, my boy Angel's got another Sea Ghost vibe. He's got a Sea Ghost. And uh, we've talked about hitting a couple of places further up in the hill country and uh, trying to get on some big fish up there, seeing what's up. 
So, uh, like I said, that pretty much wraps this right, guy. So I don't know how that's going to work. I've got just bringing it up and getting everything ready to go. One of these watertight doors up here so y'all can see me. Um, but anyways, that wraps up this video. Um, keep an eye out. We're going to be doing some uh, videos for rigging this thing up in the next couple of days. Uh, the Falcon trip got cam canceled. Um, Mom and Dad had some electrical issues come up at their house that they've got to get taken care of before they can go off and leave the house for a few days so uh, we canceled it postponed it something i haven't really decided exactly what yet um we're getting back into doing the pig hunting at night so i'm gonna try to uh, get some pig hunt videos going just because uh it's something that i regretted not being able to do the last six months or so that we've been hunting pigs is putting up pig hunt videos so we're going to try to get some of those going on. Of course, we're going to try to stay getting on the water with this new kayak here and uh, try to get on some fish, go see some different locations and what we typically see. Um, yeah, that pretty much wraps it, guys. I appreciate y'all watching. Hit that like, hit that subscribe if you haven't. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think of, this, uh, of the Vibe Seaghost 110. If you have any questions about it, drop me a question. I'll answer them for you. Um, you know, all that kind of cool stuff. All right, guys, I appreciate it. Check out this video over here, video over there. I think they're on this side. They might actually be on this side. I don't know where the hell they're at. But there's also uh, the channel logo right here on the corner somewhere down here. Yeah. You'll know where it is. You've seen the channel logo before. Anyways, go hit the click on that guy to get you subscribed, and uh, I'll catch y'all later. All right, appreciate y'all watching.